Miami, where I was born and raised. It's a great city. It's a lot of things to get into, and, and it's hard to get out. You just got to not get caught up in that lifestyle. To grow up here, play here in my hometown, knowing that my family there, my friends, I have a lot of butterflies. Just getting that feeling, just hearing the crowd yelling your name. My journey is dedicated, homegrown, unstoppable. Lamar Miller. Lamar Miller! Running back, Miami Dolphins. This is my journey. Coming into the Houston game, it was our second home game. A lot of guys were anxious. We had a new coach, Dan Campbell. It was his first home game as a head coach. So, you know, a lot of guys was amped up, just trying to help him get his second win. Me, I was just trying to make plays. He's at the 30, he's at the 20. Touchdown, Lamar Miller. I got up on a safety, and I just tried to make him miss and use my speed. Once I get in the open field, I feel like nobody won't catch me. Blitz him, 20, 15, 10, touchdown Miami! You know, leaving a game after a win is great. After every home game, me and my family, my girlfriend, we always go out, get something to eat, and we watch other football games. Just to have them around me, to cheer me up, to have a good time, it's always great. Family has been the biggest influence in Lamar Miller's life. It is the thing that grounds him. So much so that his journey to the NFL has only taken him about 30 miles from Miami Killian High School to the University of Miami and Sun Life Stadium. You know, it's great just to, you know, play here where you grew up at in front of your, your family, your friends. They can always come here to support you and, you know, always have your back through the tough times. The area that I grew up, you know, there was a lot of things going on. You know, a lot of drug dealing, a lot of fights, a lot of shooting. It was a tough environment just to live here in Miami. You know, it's a lot of things that you can get into, but it's hard to get out. And, you know, that's why my, my parents, they always kept me active so I can, you know, stay out of trouble and do the right things. Coming out of high school, I had two decisions to make, whether to go to the University of Florida or stay here in Miami. You know, my mom, she wanted me to go to Gainesville because she's from Ocala, Florida. But I, I was born and raised here in Miami, and you know, I know Miami, they brought out a lot of good running backs coming out, like Willis McGahee, Clinton Portis, Frank Gore, guys like that. So, you know, that was a big part of my decision. I just wanted to stay close to home and, you know, uphold that legacy. The Dolphins moved up a couple pits to come get me and, you know, just sent a 954 area code. I was kind of shocked. I was like, oh my God, this might could be the Miami Dolphins. In my rookie year, the first game that I played, it was against the Oakland Raiders. And we was playing here. You know, I've been playing in that stadium for three years because I, I was playing that for the University of Miami. It was just a different type of atmosphere. It didn't hit me once until I walked out of the tunnel and I just seen a whole bunch of Dolphins stuff. And I was like, damn, I'm in the NFL. Touchdown, Dolphins! <laughs> oh, that run! Holy, Holy smoke! smoke. Oh, we've been talking about that track speed. We got this in. He broke all the records. Wow, wow. what a run. My goal this year is, you know, is just to get another 1,000 yard season. Last year, it was my first year in 2014. I'm just trying to continue to get better and just try to make plays. And, that's something that I've been doing so far, and I just got to keep it up and keep my production up. Every time I train, you know, I just try to have that mindset that even when I don't feel like working out, to try to get better, no matter what the situation is. A lot of people don't get this opportunity, so you need to take full advantage of it. A thousand yard season is not Lamar Miller's only goal. He's trying to solidify his place in the Dolphins' backfield for years to come. Playing in the last year of his rookie contract, Miller is facing the uncertainty of free agency and the prospect of leaving Miami. I don't know anything else. I've been here for 24 years. This is the only thing that I know. So to just picture and imagine me going somewhere else, it's kind of scary, but it's part of the business. Football to me is more than a job. You know, it's, it's an opportunity for me to live a dream. You know, that's something 
that I've been playing since I was seven years old, and that's something that I enjoy doing. My journey, it's been a lot of, you know, ups and downs. It took a lot of hard work and dedication. Just growing up, seeing my parents work as hard as they could to put food on the table, clothes on our backs, and, you know, just seeing them go through all the things that they've been through, it pushed me even harder to try to be successful and to take care of them and, you know, just show them my appreciation. I had a game, when I score, I just try to fire them. It'd be too many people, but I always do the salute every time I score. So I pretty much salute them.